Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll discuss how to take full advantages of high resolution data and simultaneously liberate the course stored in warehouses worldwide. In this video, we review a research paper that shows how to apply machine learning methods to predict lithology and facies on a centimeter scale. For those who don't know me, my name is Ruslan and I am the CTO at a software company. On this channel, I discuss AI-based applications in an easy to understand way. Wells are a useful source of information for geoscientists in inferring geological and physical properties. In many instances, the notion of the wells is limited to a few interpreted core samples and several well log curves. In numerous AI ML papers, and even commercial softwares are available for automatic well log interpretation. We fit existing labels into the model, predicting lithology of facies on the other wells without requiring interpretation. However, the issue with the well log curves is that they are low resolution data. There are many times when we need to understand the subsurface structures down to a centimeter level. For example, Reservoir model parameterization, basin wide mapping of core lithology, and other applications where fine grained information would open new insights about the subsurface. The centimeter level resolution is difficult to achieve. There are two methods and two problems. Standard log data cannot resolve fine scale below 5 cm change in lithology preventing well log data from fully characterizing the subsurface. Of course, micro-resistivity, image log and other high-resolution downhole equipment can dramatically enhance prediction at below 1 cm level, but they are not currently available in many projects. Let me know in the comment section if you have encountered high-resolution well logs in your work. Traditional log resolution limit is the reason for collecting and analyzing core samples. Core is true to geologic scale and heterogeneity. The geologic core primarily gathered during drilling for hydrocarbon exploration and development. It is costly to collect and store and is typically underutilized core stored in public and private collections worldwide. It's being carefully photographed and cataloged. The issue here is that description and analysis take a long time. As a result, most of data is not used to its full potential. In case we don't know fine-grained details about the vertical section, then we will miss out on a better reservoir characterization, which might result in a thick layer of problems down the line. So, what we can do in this case? The first is to use more expensive and detailed well log technology, but this will only use for new exploration activities. Alternatively, Researchers from the Colorado School of Mines, they suggest unlocking warehouses full of high-resolution data by utilizing machine learning methods for automatic lithology and facies predictions for core data, as long as it's done right. This technology can greatly impact both existing fields and new ones. The researchers develop a neural network model and label dataset. In addition, the code for this study and all the notebooks with experiments have been uploaded to GitHub. All the links in the video description. They've collected open access core images and wear line logs from the UKCS Squadron 204 and 205. And they state that this dataset is ideal for image processing and machine learning workflow development as the well log data is high quality and has modern headers and every core image was photographed under the same conditions. They look at core images because they preserve fine scale differences in lithology and don't depend on geologist interpretation. Each raw image was processed with the core breakout methodology to produce a core column image in which each pixel is registered to the depth of the core. This is what they did. They manually interpreted 659 meters of core from 12 wells and then trained a neural network to predict 5 classes of lithology and 6 classes of facies. 
The core was split into five different types of rocks. They label the core at a resolution about 2 cm from the core image. This fascia shows the most common types of heterogeneity in the data set and give more information about the geology in the area than the lithology does. Researchers label fascias at a resolution about 1 cm. They run three different experiments with training a neural network, where they use different data types as input. In the first test, in 4 cm lithological information based on traditional well log data, input is well log data and the output is lithology or facious prediction. The second test, an image based technique was used, in which a neural network is fed a core pictures as input and the result is lithology or facious prediction. The third test, a simple statistic called Color Channel Log, abbreviated as CCL, was used to replace image in training. The statistic summarizes the brightness and color of the image, CCL on input, and expected lithology of facious prediction in output. Let's begin with the well log experiment. As previously stated, the lithology and facious labels for the well log data were obtained from the core pictures. These labels were translated onto the depth values of well logs using linear interpolation from the standard well log resolution. They use XGBoost, an open source gradient boosting toolkit. The performance of lithology experiment is evaluated using two separate metrics, accuracy and F1. The well log data models were accurate to a maximum of 35% with 9 wells and to a low of 18% with 6 wells. With more well log training data, none of the metrics increased significantly. The prediction performance of well log data is comparable to a randomly selecting a class. In this second experiment, images are used to train a neural network. They use a patch by cutting the large image into 600 pixels wide by 32 pixels thick. Only the central 400 pixels should be taken. Then, then sample the image even more by a factor of 2 to get image segments that are 200 pixels wide. They use modified Deep 10 convolutional neural network architecture to make the model. It incorporates dictionary learning as a trainable parameter of the neural network. The image test has a maximum accuracy of 57% with 6 wells and a minimum accuracy of 36%. This data type did not get better with more training data. Third experiment is a simplified approximation of core images. The authors created a color channel log a simplified statistic that summarizes the brightness and color of the core image because original image data is large and memory intensive for training. They employed a modified version of WaveNet, which is a convolutional neural network model architecture originally created as a generative model for raw audio waveforms. The WaveNet model with CCL data was the quickest to compute and predicted the most accurate results. It was also the only data type that improved with more training data. The results for 9 training wells on CCL data type with 5 lithologies shows that all sets have 62 overall accuracy, with the best set reaching 69%. The sandstone and mudstone classes are even more accurately predicted with more than 80%. If we compare CCL methods with image based prediction, then the image approach is less accurate and has a longer compute time compared to CCL data. A confusion matrix reveals misclassification for each labeled class. An ideal model would only include values in the diagonal aligned boxes defined through positive predictions. Sandstones and mudstone had the most reliable predictions in these models. Now let's take a look at the confusion matrix for facious prediction. Besides sandstone, oil stain and mudstone, Facious testing with 5 wells had minimal success in predicting facious labels, 
lack of training data or complicated class labels have led to this misclassification, which is why we need more training data. Let me know what you think about the results of this research in the comment section. Would you like to have this tool for inferring geological and physical properties based on core data? To conclude, the suggested method accurately predicts true lithology with 69% of accuracy and specific lithology classes like sandstone and mudstone with more than 80% accuracy. Machine learning predictions based on facious labels were not as accurate as lithology. This work aimed not to replace core description made by qualified geoscientists. Knowing fine-grained characteristic about these vertical sections ensures that superior reserve characterization is never overlooked. If deployed on a large scale, the proposed technique has the potential to liberate how resolution data kept in warehouses around the world. Thanks to the authors, it was a pleasure to read this professional work. Thank you also for making all the materials we've got online and for free. I have made a playlist for you where I collected my videos about using machine learning for seismic facies classification. Consider checking it out. Thanks for watching and see you next time.